Hey, hello everyone. My name is Dinesh Krishnan. In this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the test suite in JUnit framework. So we have what you know the JUnit demo project with us, right? So we already created the package. What I'm going to do? I'm going to simply create uh, one test case class. I'm going to call this class actually what you know my test case one. Okay, I'm going to create a class. So the class is created. Likewise, I'm going to create one more class my test case 2 let me give ok now we have two test case classes available so now let's add a test case to the class so I'm gonna add a public void I'll say test case 1 Sim system dot dot println I'm gonna say what you know test case 1 so I'm going to annotate this method actually what test method so likewise I'm going to do the same for what my test case to class as well so I'm going to add a method public void test case to so this is actually going to print test case 2 so well I'm going to annotate this method as what test so now you can see that we have two different test cases class and then we have two different tests right so now let me run this class so here we go we got what you know the test case 1 output likewise I'm gonna run what you know the test case 2 so which is available in the different class so again we know we are getting the output so since we have two different test case so test case 1 and then we have test case 2 right so I want to run all of them in a single stretch in the sense uh, of course you can do that with use of what you know IntelliJ itself you can right click on top and run what you know all the test case so which is fine what we are trying to achieve we are going to create you know the test suit class which is available in the JUnit framework itself with that we are going to trigger all our test cases that are available in our project right so now what I am going to do I am going to create new class called my test suit so once that is created so what I am going to do I am actually going to annotate this class as what you know run with so in the run with annotation you have to pass the argument as what you know suit dot class so make sure that all of them coming from what you know the JUnit package okay so once that is done so since we have two classes right we have my test case one we have my test case two both have what you know test case methods right so now I want to till to my suit class you know you we have two different test case class you know you have to run them whenever I call you right so to do that you have to use one more annotation called what you know suit classes right this annotation will take array of the class name that we have so how many class we have as of now we have two test case classes right so I'm gonna do my test case one dot class comma my test case Two dot class. If you look at it, I have just created the class called my test suit. Here I am saying what you know this class should be considered as what you know suit class. Then whenever I run the suit class, these two class test case class should be what you know executed. So whatever test cases are available within this class, so that should be executed and then we should get an output, right? So I'm going to run this class. So to run that, you can simply run what you know run my test suit class in the IntelliJ IDE. You can see what you know the both the test case classes actually what you know triggered and then you can see that inside this test case we have only one test case method likewise inside this test case we have another one test case method right all of them executed in a single stretch using what you know test suit consider if you want to create a main method in the main method you want to call this test suit in the sense that is also completely possible to do that what I'm going to do I'm going to create another class called I want to call this class actually what you know main class right so this main class obviously going to have a main method so I'm gonna say public static wide main PSVM in short okay public static wide main here what I'm gonna do 
okay j unit core dot you have a method called run classes right in the run classes what you can do you can pass what you know our test suit class you know i'm gonna pass this test suit class as an argument okay now this is actually going to return the instance of result class by using this uh, result instance you can perform a lot of activity let's see what we can do result dot now you can see there are a lot of methods available we have a method called what you know get file years which is going to give you the list of file years object you can iterate them you can get the information about the failure as well as you can get what the failure count you know once you have a failure in your test case right so as well as you can get what you know ignore count you can get what you know run count as of now i'm actually going to focus on what you know run count because we have two test case which is going to going to be success all the all the uh, time so we don't have any assertion uh, in the method so we'll be doing that later so as of now what i'm going to do so this is the only possible that we have in our current scenario so i'm gonna get what you know run count so that is going to return me the count for all the test case okay so now let me run this we'll see what is going to happen here we go now you can see what you know we actually ran the test case using what you know main method so two test cases actually available so both the test case actually ran and then the corresponding output is printed in the console and apart from that you know you can here you can see what we got an output as two what is the two so that is actually what you know how many test case actually ran that we got using what you know get run count method which is available in the result instance